Welcome everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com and I have a fun mixed media project today for you where I'm creating a retro tree star. I'm starting off with the Tim Holtz Alpine Trees and these are really nice and skinny. I've grabbed two packs and I'm only using two of the larger trees and four of the smaller trees. So I have two larger trees left over. I'll be using Salvage Patina Distress Spray and I'll be spraying these really well. I have them in a box with a paper towel underneath. You could also use a splat box and I'm just going to spray them until I have them covered. I do have the stands still intact so that I can stand them up to dry. Now that I have them all sprayed, I've put them onto my glass mat and this will allow the ink to pull down through the center of the tree and I will have some excess ink because I did spray them really well. So I'll just blot that off with a paper towel. And now that my trees are dry, I can remove the bottom stands and I can do that by twisting them off and kind of unscrewing them from that metal wire. There's also a little piece of hot glue. You can also unscrew that off the tip. I have my trees in the configuration that I want my star to be and I need to put something in the center to hold everything together. And I looked around and I found this jar of Tim Holtz glaze to create my circles. So I've just traced around them onto some chipboard and now I can just cut these pieces out. I'll be painting my circles white and I'm using Dina Wakely white gesso. And I'll be painting both sides and also around the edges. Now that my circles are dry, I'll be doing some construction and I'll start off with some hot glue onto the disc and I'm just going to run a nice dollop onto the side and then I can place my tree right into the dollop so that that wire sits right against that edge of the tree. The second tree will go right underneath and I'm going to make sure that they are right one on top and one on the bottom so that they're evenly positioned. Now that the larger trees are in position, I can start filling in with the smaller ones. If we were looking at this like a clock, I have the 12 and the 6 covered, and my smaller trees will be at 8, 10, 2, and 4. Now that my trees are all glued down, I'll be adding my second circle. And again, I'll be adding the glue right onto those wires. And I want to make sure I get a really good dollop on these. This will be holding the entire piece together. I'll also be putting some into the center. And then I can position my second circle and I can hold that down in place until the glue has cooled. Now that the construction is done on my star, I would like to add something to the center that's a little prettier. And so I have chosen some Simon Says Stamp Silver Matte Cardstock. And this is cut to 3 quarters by 11 inches to create a rosette for the center. And I'll be scoring this with my Scorepel. On the front side, I'll be scoring at every half inch mark. And then I'll turn the paper over and score in between those lines at every half inch mark. So then I'll have a score line at every quarter inch. Once it's all scored, I am bending each of those folds and I'm pinching them with my fingers, making sure that I get a nice tight fold. I need to complete the loop and to do that I'm adding some Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue to one of the ends and I'll place those face to face so I can glue those ends together. And then to hold those together I'm just adding a little clip and those are face to face folded to the inside. And now for the fun part. With my hot glue gun at the ready, I'm going to be pressing this down. I'm going to press in the center. And this is where my glass mat really comes in handy so that rosette can slide. So once I have that positioned, I'm going to carefully transfer this over to my star. And now I can rearrange and move this around until I'm happy with the position of it. And then I can add some hot glue around that opening in the center of the rosette. And I'll hold this in place until the glue cools down. And now I'm adding a little bit more hot glue to the center. And I'm using one of the Tim Holtz bobbles to fill in the center. I'll also be using these for my decorations onto the trees. 
with the construction all done, now we get to have some fun and just start to decorate. So I'll be adding little dollops of glue right into the bristles and then grab a bobble and push it right in. I've used about three or four of the bobbles on each of the trees in varying sizes. I've added a few extra bobbles to the rosette in the center and here I'm adding some sequins. And for those I'm just going to use some Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue since the sequins are quite a bit smaller and I think the hot glue would overpower them. The sequins I'm using are the Simon Says Stamp Green Tree Sequins and these are actually confetti so they sit nice and flat and the mixture of colors go really well with the salvage patina. And to finish this off, I'm going to add some string to the top so this can hang. So I'm using the DMC silver thread and I've cut out about an 8 inch strand. So working from the back, I have wrapped that around and I'm just tying this in a simple knot. And then I'll pull that up towards the top and I'm going to add a really thin bead of hot glue just where that thread will sit. Then I can pull that thread right into that hot glue and I'll hold that until it cools so we have a nice little hanger. And then you can tie a knot at the end at the length you would like. I hope you've enjoyed my tutorial of my retro tree star. This was super fun to make. You could always change your colors up or even do some alcohol ink on your bobbles for a completely different look. I do have all my supplies in the description box below. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Hi there, I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.